everyone, welcome to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and this is Hortensia. Today we're going to learn how to take care of the zebra plant. Okay, coming up. Whether you're coming back or this is your first time in this channel, thank you so much for watching this video. This channel is all about houseplants, so if you want to learn how to take care of them, how to display them, or even how to connect with them, make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every Tuesday and Thursday and to go plant. But now, let's get to the video. This beautiful succulent has become a very popular houseplant lately. It is commonly known as the zebra cactus, the pearl plant, the star window plant, or the cushion aloe. And these common names are actually related to her appearance. This zebra plant has fleshy green leaves that are generously covered with white pearly bands. It almost looks like a zebra, and the white parts look like pearls. And of course, the form of the plant looks like an aloe. A mini aloe, of course. The zebra plant, depending on the species, generally grows from 3 to 5 inches. But there are some species that can grow up to 20 inches. It is a beautiful plant and it is very easy to take care of. Now let's see how this plant can be very happy at our house. In terms of temperature, keep your plant in a room that is between 10 to 24 degrees Celsius. Remember, during summer keep her in a room that is warmer and then in the winter she will be okay in a room that is a little cooler. This plant doesn't need any humidity. What it does require though is good ventilation, especially at night when they take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. If you want to make sure of good air circulation, you can put a fan close to her so she can breathe. In terms of light, put your plant in a room that is bright and gets enough sunlight. Just avoid direct sunlight. Actually, in the wild, you can find these plants behind a rock or another object. So they do like bright light, but they really avoid direct sunlight. There are different ways to know if you're providing too much sunlight or not enough sunlight for your plant. White or yellow leaves usually signify that you're providing too much sunlight. If the plant is not getting enough light, her green color will fade. The way that I water this plant is actually in a moderate way. So the way that I check is with my finger. I put my finger inside the soil until the second knuckle. Once I feel that the soil is dry, then I water. And the method that I use is bottom watering method. I usually water this plant thoroughly and let the water drain down. This is very important, you guys. You don't want your plant to be sitting in soaked soil. That is not good for any plant and especially is not good for a succulent. In the winter, your plant will not need so much water, so make sure you water less often. But anyways, if you check the soil with your finger, you will see that the soil in the winter actually dries slower. Zebra plants actually really love well-drained potting mix. So what I do is I use succulent potting mix and then I add 50% of perlite. You can also use a cactus mix. You can also add a layer of sand on the top. This will keep the neck of the plant dry and it will prevent rot. These decorative plants can be grown in interesting containers actually. You can grow them in teacups or even in baby shoes. If you do this though, make sure that the container has the appropriate drainage. If your container doesn't have drainage holes, it may be a good idea to take out the plant and actually add some gravel to the bottom. This will help with drainage and it will reduce the wicking action of the soil above. So, how do you take care of your zebra plant? Make sure to comment below so we can all learn together. As I always say, if you would like to join this community, you're always welcome. So make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every Tuesday and Thursday and talk about plants. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye! <laughs>